Okay, this is a Ford 501 sickle mower, six foot bar. I've been through the mowers in good shape. We're gonna mow some with it, demonstrate it. It has good original Ford hold downs that hold your sickle bar in place. It's got good wire plates under those. That's what your sickle rubs on. The so sickle's hand sharpened in good shape. We hand sharpen all the sickles here. And on the guards, they're matched up. There's several different types of Ford guards. You've got your, let's see how many digits, let's see, four, five, six digit number. You got the 800s. And you have to get the numbers together that will run together. Like a 800's not gonna run right on this bar mixed with these. It'll run, but it's just, it runs on the sickle section different. Be a little wave in it. They had several, several different numbers of forward guards and it's best not to mix them up. Here's uh, all the guards, shoes, put on with lock nuts. That's so they won't shake loose on you. That's definitely important with the 501 because they're made to shake. That's what this heavy cam's for over here. It's weighted shafts. Got a heavy weight on one end of it and it makes it more shake. That's to get the grass loose from it. You don't, you want it to leave the mower and not stay on it. It's a pretty good invention. It's got a good belt. I take all the belts, turn them upside down. If they crack, I throw them away. This one didn't crack. Okay. On this shaft here, it's another pressure point with a 501. I'm gonna test every one of those to make sure they're not turning in their self here. If it's turning, it'll run. It won't run right, it'll wear these bearings. It just break a fibbing right every now and then. So the best thing to do is have a have the shaft not turning. Then you're right. As far as hooking it up goes, it will not hook the square left arms. That's why I've got it on one of these old loader tractors, one of our loader tractors with a three point of a sword. It's I can't adjust anything. It's just you know froze up. Just kind of one of them things to make do with. The tractor, not the mower. And I've, I'm talking about the left arms on the tractor. Yeah. I've got it. It'll hook to an international. I had moved this left link up here and brought it in here where the left link was. I can't hook to this side because the old left arm's welded here. It's got two things. I can't hook that one up. You can mow okay without this one. It just stabilizes. This one here is the important one. It has this little tie rod down here. It comes up to the left arm and to the clamp. That's what raises your bar up out there. Pivots here on this. It's got a spring under here that makes your bar come up. Without this, the bar won't come up. It'll, I've seen them run without them. It, they'll come up some, they won't come up right. They'll kind of do this number, the end of the bar, kind of a few, three or four inches in the ground, picking up loose hay. I didn't hook up the float spring. I just got it on here to demonstrate. It's got a new Pittman rod. The mower's in real good shape. It's ready to go film work. We're gonna work with it here in a minute. As soon as I lay off the land, my wife starts filming. So, so I like a sickle bar over a bush hog because of a bush hog, you have to run through every, not a bush hog, a rotary mower. You have to run through everything that you, that you're gonna mow. The sickle mowers, you're sitting in what you already mowed. But with any rotary mower, you just, you know, you're running over what you're gonna mow. All that fuzz and stuff, it's hard on you and hard on the tractor. So, anyway, I'm gonna 
take it out and mow with it, and we'll go from there. I'm going to pause till he's ready to mow. Okay, he's mowing down some tall grass. I'm trying to follow him with the zoom button. And the sun's so bright, it's hard for me to see what I'm getting. Okay, I relocated so that I wouldn't be facing into the sun, so maybe you can see what's happening here. He is mowing some thick, tall grass from over behind our garden, and I'm glad to see it go. And he told me all the things to tell you that he forgot to tell you, which I will in just a minute. Let him get backed up and start up the next round. Okay, here he's going on the next round. And it's coming down like it's supposed to come down. And I'm moving around trying to follow him. And not doing the greatest job, because this is not the smoothest walking, to tell you the truth. Okay, there he goes. Now. Well, he's making his turn and all that, I'm gonna tell you. He told me to tell you about the hold-up rod. The hold-up rod that you have to take off so the bar will come down and the mower will mow. He leaves it at the gate. There's a place for it on the mower, but if you leave it on the mower, because the mower is designed to shake off all that grass, you usually wind up out looking for your hold-up rod. So the easiest thing is to take it off and leave it at the gate like he did. Then you're not wondering, where's my hold-up rod when you need it? I'm gonna pause again. Okay. Something else he wanted me to tell you about is that PTO shaft. I'm not gonna get real close right now. Well, maybe I will. He's backing up the turn. <laughs> maybe I'll move. <laughs> that PTO shaft, we've got the shield on it. And the reason that the shield is on it is that if you don't have a shield on there, You'll spend more of your time unwinding grass off the PTO shaft than you will mowing grass. So we make sure to send all our mowers out with the PTO shaft on them. And we pause and let him get back up here. Jim does all his own work on these mowers, so he knows what he's talking about when he tells you it's running right. cameras he knows about that mower we would have a video okay got down the hill to follow him up the hill so you can really see this looks like a different place than when he started doesn't it just turning around. And here he comes, down the hill again. And there goes the grass. Okay, I'm gonna pause again. Okay. You'll notice he's mowing beside, he's running the tractor beside what he's mowing. So you don't have to worry about getting all the grass and mess in the front end of your tractor and clogging it up. And you don't knock down what you're about to mow and make it that much harder to mow. And there he goes up the next hill. And you get the idea, that's a fine 501 Ford that he's gone through and it's doing its thing just like you would want it to. I'm gonna sign off for JNC Farm Equipment. Thanks for watching.